guys, so let me show you how we can remove some of the finer and smaller components on uh, the board. And for this, we can use our standard tip that comes with the station. And the nice thing about this station is you can really get the air pressure very, very low. And there's no other station out there that can get as low as ours, which is really nice if you have some of these very tiny, minute little components that you need to take off. For this, we're gonna use a tweezer. And I've got the air pressure down to about four. So what you do is you just come in and you just start letting the air move over the component. And I can see it's starting to reflow. And you just take it right off. And we have some different sizes on this board. We just took a real small one off. But as you can see, this tip is really multifunctional that comes with the unit. We can use it to take off some of these larger components too. So what you do is you just reflow the sides. And I've got it on real low air pressure again. And there you see it came right off. We're able to remove quite a few different size packages and components as you can see on our bench top here. And I was able to use quite a few of the different tips that Edson makes. We used this dual flow tip to remove one of the packages where the air was able to flow on both sides. We had our quadra flow tip here where we were able to remove one component all at the same time. And then we had our fan tip that we used just to use against one side of a component to reflow the whole area um, and then remove it both sides. We used our tool, our little shim tool, which is my favorite little tool to remove quite a few of the packages. And then Edson sells lots of little tweezers and things like that if you prefer that method. And also our LP200, which is a nice little suction cup tool and it comes with different suction cup sizes. So. As you can see, the Edson station here is uh, quite versatile. We can use this one station to remove quite a few different uh, components off of the board. We can use different air pressures. And then if we want to use soldering as well, on this particular unit, you have that option. With other Edson stations, you can sometimes use the hot air tool and convert it to a soldering tool. So whatever your hot air needs or SMT needs, Edson has a solution for you. And if there's any other questions you have, please feel free to call us and I'd be happy to answer your questions. Thank you for watching.